Brooklyn Independent Television. Pigment dispersion plus binder equals paint. Paint plus thickener number one equals very thick paint. This is the science behind paint making, and nobody, I mean nobody, knows this better than Gera Paint and Pigments. Ready to learn more? Let's check it out. We've spent a lot of time acquiring a lot of rare and extinct pigments, and uh, we make aqueous pigment concentrates, which is not really done by any other people. From the Second World War onward, there was a very big uh, drive uh, to uh, create these kind of pigments and a lot of discoveries, unbelievable discoveries. And uh, all these pigments became available and yet very few of them ended up on artist palettes. When I first got involved with this, I was shocked at the pigments that were out there. The, variety of colors, uh, so I devised ways to get them, and so we collected, 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 collected. One of the problems with pre-made paint is that they use incredibly low pigment um, loads, so very little color, a lot of water, a lot of um, ammonia to make it thick, and you really can't do much with that. It's what you know, art is always called toothpaste paint. So it's just a paint that you just kind of apply and that's it. So when you're making your own color, you have total control over your saturation. And that, that really equates to a lot in the long run, like how the color actually looks, how you perceive the color. When you see the pure pigment dispersion in action, you're just like, oh my God, I can't believe that you can have color like this. It's so intense and beautiful and I can control the color. I can add the color myself. And the greatest thing that can be learned from that is the idea of saturation. One of the hardest concepts to grasp is saturation. You teach hue, value, and chroma. Um, chroma, which is saturation, is how much, how bright the color is. And it's a, it's a hard thing to ascertain and to see. Um, but physically how you grasp it is by how saturated the pigment is, how much pigment you add. So with this system, you get to add the pigment yourself and you really see what is making this color saturated. I started out by painting murals in the Lower East Side thanks to Jimmy Carter, CETA program. I came to the realization that the mural paints, which were sign painter paints, were horrendous. So I went to an industrial company and they provided me with paint bases and liquid pigment concentrates, which I had never really heard of. And I made my own paint right there at the mural site. It was a revelation because uh, artists would come up to me all the time and say, what are you doing? You know, how are you making that paint? And so I painted these murals for about the next six, seven, eight years using this method and somebody suggested, why don't you open up a business of selling chemicals, you know, paint making materials to artists. And so I did. And it just actually started from very, very little, uh, you know, buying everything already, you know, from industrial manufacturers to learning the tremendously complex process of how to make them, you know, ourselves. The pigment is the expensive part in the paint, so they don't give you a lot in the pre-made paint. I mean, the, the better brands certainly do. They give you a especially high load uh, paint, has a, a decent amount of pigment in it, but um, not as much as you can add yourself. You can make much better paint than you can buy, and that's just the truth, because you, you control the color. You can add as much or as little as you want, and it's a fantastic thing. You can have this super bright, intense, crazy color. So the way we get started is we get our formula together and we put it in a five gallon bucket because we make five gallon batches of color. Uh, and what goes in the bucket is the dry pigment powder, the um, surfactant, and little stuff I'm not going to mention, but it's all water-based, non-toxic. Uh, you don't want to drink it, but it's beautiful stuff. So we, we get that in the bucket, then we get our drill. And we spin it around. We want to make sure all the uh, dry pigment is wetted. And that's what the surfactant does, actually. It wets the particle. 
Then this raw pigment concentrate, which needs to be ground, goes into these ceramic jars, which this is actually the old fashioned way of grinding pigment. Um, industrial companies now use uh, steel blades that spin around, but it doesn't do as good a job as the ceramic jars with little ceramic balls inside. The dispersion goes into a five gallon batch, goes into three jars. So we've got three, six, nine, 12 jars here. So we put four colors on at a time. Uh, and all pigments grind for different amounts of time. So we try to put four colors on that can grind for the same length of time. They go between 24 and 48 hours. Uh, they're extremely heavy. It's, it's unbelievably hard labor to do it this way, but we believe in doing it the old fashioned way because you get a better grind. And that's, that's what you want in a pigment concentrate is a very fine grind. We started out very small with small machines and everything and lots of mistakes lots of uh, spilt pigments and spilt materials and just learning, 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 learning. And one of the uh, great things that I do is I always ask the question, why? Right, and I must have asked why like a million times, driven chemists crazy. It's a learning process and we learn, you know, and we're still learning. Although it's very simple uh, how to make your own paint, um, the possibilities are endless, and I always tell people that. Um, so I try to ascertain from them, what exactly are you trying to do, so then we know what direction to go into. We always do the, the basic demo, how you add the color to the binder, thicken it up, show them that, make it metallic. Um, but very often people want a certain texture or you know a certain viscosity in the paint or you know they want it to be glossy or matte or thick or thin or you know what have you. So um, we find out what they're looking to do and then we show them how to do it. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.